Tesla battery day looms as rumors of new lithium-ion partnership emerges with a company called Novonix. Have you heard of that, friends? Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel because I'm going to bring you developing stories about Tesla battery day and everything related to Tesla batteries and electric cars. Market analysts say Tesla may be getting close to pinning down a date for the highly anticipated battery day. As rumors emerge of a new partnership with lithium-ion battery testing equipment supplier Novonix. Battery Day was originally expected sometime in the first quarter of 2020, however, it was put back by Tesla CEO and co-founder Elon Musk to April, before being split into two possible events, one online and one face-to-face, on as yet to undecided dates. We don't know of these undecided dates of Tesla Battery Day, but it is expected that a webcast event may be conducted in June, this month. Tesla CEO and co-founder Elon Musk has promised a battery that will last 1 million miles, 1.6 million kilometers. And in September 2019, Tesla's head battery research, Jeff Don of Dalhousie University in Canada, published a paper outlining the significance of a single crystal cathode patent that would bring the promised battery significantly closer. Then, as you remember, I reported that Reuters reported that people familiar with the Tesla said that research and development of battery chemistry from Chinese battery maker Cattle and Tesla battery research team would bring the cost of electric car batteries below 100 kilowatt per hour, the kind of numbers that analysts say will make electric cars as cheap to make as petrol and diesel cars. Wedbush analyst Don Eves and Stricter Backey think uh, that they that they may be looming, telling clients in a note published on Monday that Tesla is getting closer to announce the million mile battery. It was reported by Business Insider. Quote. In our opinion, this battery technology will be very advanced, potentially last for decades, withstand all types of weather terrain, and be another major milestone for the Tesla ecosystem, Eves and Backey were quoted as saying. No wonder Tesla CEO Elon Musk during the first quarter call of Tesla said uh, that it is going to be an extremely exciting event. Quote, in theory, this battery will support an electric vehicle for 1 million miles and be a major step forward when competing versus traditional gasoline-powered automotive competitors from both a return on investment and environmental perspective, said Eves and Dance. Another linchpin to Tesla battery innovations and the street's focus of the upcoming battery day will be reducing battery production costs to the key 100 kilowatt hour threshold, as this would give Tesla much more financial flexibility around pricing on current and future electric vehicle models with price parity. Eves and Backy said in the Monday note. So this Monday note, if you haven't heard it, I recommend checking out because it's very important. Meanwhile, rumors of another partnership riding on the back of new battery research described in a paper published in Cell in May has been reported by Australian stock site Small Caps. According to Small Caps, share volume of Li-ion battery materials and testing pioneer Novonix have skyrocketed following rumors that Novonix may announce a partnership with Tesla, jumping 9.35% on Thursday to close at 0.76 cents. Novonix, a publicly listed company on the Australian Stock Exchange, currently supplies battery testing equipment to the like of, likes of Apple, uh, Apple, Microsoft, GM, Panasonic, and Tesla. The paper, titled Engineered Particle Synthesis by Dry Particle Microgranulation was published 
following the announcement of a deal between Novonix and Core Power in August 2019 that would see the two companies explore testing and improving electrolyte cathode and anode materials including graphite and anodes, undertaking several phases of work relating to the use of different materials and cell design which are hoped to improve battery performance and lower manufacturing costs. Both Tesla and Novonix sponsored research at Dalhousie University and in response to an inquiry from the Driven, Novonix Managing Director Philip St. Baker confirmed in an email that Novonix is the sponsor of Professor Mark Obrovac and his research group who published the paper and as such has 100% right to all IP developed which includes the recently announced DPMG process technology and associated new materials including new graffiti and not a new cathodes. St. Baker also confirmed that Professor Jeff Dunn and his group, also at Dalhousie University, is exclusive to Tesla. While noting, Jeff has provided opinion on the Mark Obrovac discoveries to which Novonix has filled patents. St. Baker did not deny nor confirm a possible partnership between the two companies, between Novonix and Tesla. The paper discusses a new method of producing the graffiti used in lithium-ion batteries without losing yield and at the same note incurring extra manufacturing costs. Graffiti is a key material in batteries because it helps reduce battery degradation, thus increasing battery life, and the new dry particle microgranulation DPMG method outlined in that paper represents breakthrough in reducing the cost of batteries, waste of the batteries, and environmental impact of advanced powder production. In addition, it enables the bulk synthesis of never-before-seen designer materials which could lead to enhanced performance, Abrovac said in a statement. Burns said into the research that, I believe that the ability to synthesize appropriately sized dense particles of NMC and other positive electrode materials is in completely waste-free process, unlike the current methods used today by industry, has huge potential. I congratulate the Obrovax team for their outstanding and innovative work done in the chemistry department of Dalhousie University. This is the same university where Tesla's battery team is working. Novonix subsequently patented the DPMG method and in late May announced it would raise $58.28 million of capital that it says it will use to facilitate development and commercialization of the DPMG technology for cathode and another million mile battery innovations in a statement via its website. Well, friends, let me know what you think about these developments. These are, I think, very interesting developments. Have you heard of Novonix before? Uh, have you heard anything that Novonix may be in a partnership, battery partnership with Tesla? Let us know in the comments section. I think if you have, or if maybe you have heard anything about the battery days or any rumors, that would be interesting to know because if the webcast of the Tesla battery day is going to be in, um, in May of... Um, uh, oh, I'm sorry, if in June, then today is what? Today is June 6 already, so six days have passed. I'd, I assume Tesla would give it a um, uh, at least uh, like um, like the 10 or 15 days announcement, right? So people prepare. It's not like Tesla is going to come and say, hey, tomorrow is the battery day webcast, or in two days we will have battery days the webcast. Also, I'm sure Tesla is preparing for that battery day. Tesla is working, so uh, maybe somebody can hear something or some information may come up i don't know let me know what you think the only thing is that battery days was originally expected sometime in the first quarter of 2020 however then it was pushed back by tesla ceo elon musk to uh, to april um, and we were all waiting for the tesla battery day to come in april but before being split then it was split that it's coming in actually not in may but in june and we're still waiting for that some people say tesla will have just one single event and tesla ceo said 
possibly they will have two events um, and one in uh, online and one in uh, in person uh, so we'll see if the if they're going to have two events it's interesting to see what they're going to announce in the online event and then what they're obviously going to show something specific something unique something very exciting in the um offline in the in-person event maybe they will announce these partnerships one of them may be the supplier novonix you know I, I i don't know but you know these things will probably come up i would like to know what you think about this so let's continue the discussion in the comment section below please subscribe to this channel because this is a developing story i have another tesla battery day story different topic related to battery day and tesla batteries coming up right after this today and so you are notified ring the notification bell this channel friends only does developing stories on tesla electric cars so uh, please subscribe so you are notified when we bring the continuity of these stories tesla giga berlin giga shanghai possible uh, giga factories in uh, austin or in tulsa oklahoma or even in the united kingdom and um, stay in touch have a wonderful day please like this video to show your appreciation of all the people who have bringing uh, who have helped me to bring these stories you can find the references of these stories in the description of this video and i'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day god bless you love one another and take good care of your families and i'll see you in our next report take care friends